Hi and welcome back to my channel and in this week's video I'm going to show you how to solve this problem and to find the value of theta. Now there's different ways, I found different ways to solve this problem and if you find a different one make sure to put it down in the comments below because I really enjoy reading other people's solutions and it's a great idea to share things with other people as well if you find different ways of doing it. Right, now I'm going to start showing you my solution in 3, 2, one. Okay, so this is actually a relatively tricky problem, to be honest, and uh, the way that I and probably anybody else would start doing this problem is by working out this angle is 120 degrees here. Now, after that, the next thing you'll probably notice is that this angle at the top uh, a, B, C is 80 minus theta because those top two have to be 80 degrees because if we look at the, the, the large triangle, A, B, C, uh, 180 degrees in it, take away your 70 at A and your 30 at C and you are left with 80. Right, now the next thing probably to work out is that this is 90 plus theta because it has to be because again, 180 degrees in a triangle and now we're looking at B, P, C. And A, P, B must be 150 minus theta because of the same reason. Now, after that, this is where probably the solutions for different people will differ. Um, because the, the way that I wanted to approach this problem is a way that I have been teaching this week in, in class to some of my students. And that is about the sign rule. And this sign rule is from the GCSE formula sheet. So this is exactly what it says and it shows you the triangle as well unless they change it like they have done the past few years because of COVID and everything else, this is what it should look like. Um, now, actually for us, what I chose to do is I chose to flip the sine rule and use it this way. Uh, and that's just because I wanted to have sine theta on the top because I'm looking for theta, so it makes sense to put the angle on the top. And with the sine rule, you can just flip all of the fractions like this and it still works because, you know, um, with equations, essentially, you're kind of rearranging them to look like this. It's it's nothing. Um, it's not it's not a different equation. It's just rearranged essentially. Now, obviously, as well, we've got three uh, sections or three parts of this equation, and we only really need two of those parts. But they just put all three down there just to show that you can use any sides, and it doesn't really matter sides and angles. It doesn't matter. They just have to be the opposite sides and angles. Now. I'm going to work out now, well I have worked out, all of the sine rule uh, equations from the different triangles in here. Uh, so they give me these. Now I'm aware that some of them have 150 minus theta in, they have 90 minus theta, 80 minus theta in them. That is a problem that I will, a bridge I will cross later on, but it is a bridge that needs to be crossed and so we need to have an idea uh, at this point, what we might need to do if a scenario like that were to arise, we've got 90 plus theta involved. How, how would we deal with that? Now, the first thing I'm going to do here now is rearrange for sine theta because that's what we're working out. So I'm looking at the top equation here and I'm going to rearrange that to give me sine theta. I'm going to multiply um, those two both sides of the top equation by AP, so then I end up with AP on the top. Okay, now once I've done that, I am going to rearrange for AP because now I need AP, it's in the top of this uh, fraction that I, that I previously worked out. So I use my second equation here from triangle APC, uh, and that gives me uh, an equation in terms of uh, or with AP as the subject. So AP is equal to PC times by uh, sine 20 over sine 40 okay so that's multiplying by pc multiplying by ap basically cross multiplying and dividing by sine 40. then what i'm going to need to do and this is the whole reason i worked out ap is i'm going to substitute that in to the equation above so let's do that and we get this now this looks a little bit messy and some people don't know how to deal with fractions in fractions it's actually quite straightforward to get rid of the denominator it is a division in that numerator on the left hand side we're dividing by sine 40 so to cancel that out I'm going to multiply top and bottom of the large fraction by sine 40 okay 
and we are going to get this. Now that cancels out the sine 40 on the top in that fraction, and then we're going to multiply the BP by the sine 40 as well. Okay, now we've got PC on the top of this fraction and BP on the bottom. So if we can find an equation for PC over BP, then we can substitute that in and get rid of uh, all of the sides, essentially. We can get rid of all of the sides and we'll have an equation in terms of sines, hopefully. So if we go back to this, our equations for the sine rule that we used. Now, the equation for PC over BP that we need is going to come from triangle BPC, the bottom equation. And it's going to come from the first and the last uh, sine uh, rule uh, fractions. So we get PC over BP equals sine 80 minus theta. So we do have one of those involved over sine 10. Right. Now this is what we had, and this is what we've worked out, PC over BP. We need to substitute now this in. So essentially, I'm going to replace PC on the top of this fraction with sine 80 minus theta, and BP likewise on the bottom with sine 10 to give us this. Okay, now sine 80 minus theta, like I said earlier, that is a problem, a bridge that we need to cross, something we need to work out how we can deal with this so that we just end up with something theta equals a value that we can work out. Now, we can use this, and this is something you will come across, or you may have come across at A-level, A-level maths. But it essentially, it gives you, it's a formula for allowing you to rewrite signs, and you can get one for coses as well, and tans. Um, but it, it will allow you to, to rewrite this sine 80 minus theta in terms of sines um, and coses of 80 and thetas. So if we use that, we're going to get this. And I've put the sine 80 minus theta expansion in brackets for the moment, just to be clear that that's what that is. Okay, so we get sine 80 cos theta minus cos 80 sine theta. Right, now, the next thing to say is don't panic but we're going to expand it and we're going to get this, okay? So we've gone from that, we've expanded it, sine 20, sine 30, times sine 80 cos theta, and then times cos 80 sine theta, and we get this, okay? But like I said, don't panic, although it looks quite big and messy, it's going to be okay. And the reason I know it's going to be okay is because actually I've got a sine theta here, and then I've got a cos theta, and actually if I can collect my sine thetas, I should be able to factorise those out and then hopefully do something with my cos theta and it should all work out. And we're going to end up with, you know, a, an answer at the end, which is going to involve sine 20, sine 30, sine 80, all of these signs, but it will be a number, so it should be fine. Right, now the next thing, which should be quite nice, is get rid of this fraction, okay? So I'm going to multiply left and right hand side. Essentially, I'm going to move the sine 10, sine 40 up to the left. I'm going to have sine theta, sine 10, sine 40 equals this numerator. Okay, here we go. Now, the problem is <laughs> for you at this point is that this has now got so large on the page, I'm having to put it over two lines. So I've tried to split it up. Hopefully, it's easy enough to read and understand. Uh, but you've got sine theta, sine 10, sine 40 equals and then all of this. Now, like I said earlier, uh, we have got two sine thetas. So if we can get those both onto the same side, both those terms, and factorise out the sine theta, that will be hopefully very useful. So let's get them onto the same side like this. So I'm not going to read it all out, but you can see it there. Sine thetas are on the same side, okay? Both terms have sine theta in them. So we're going to factorise the sine theta out. Okay, so sine theta and then this bracket and then is equal to this thing. Sine 20, sine 30, sine 80, cos theta. I'm going to tidy all of this up because I'm aware there's a lot on the screen and, and these equations are quite large. So let's tidy all this up. Right. I said earlier we've got cos theta and that's on the other side of the equation and that's only involved with one term, only one term on the other side of the equation. So let's divide by cos theta. Okay, we get this, and, and now we can put it all on one line again, which is a bit nicer, hopefully. So we get sine theta, and then the big bracket again over cos theta is sine 20, sine 30, sine 80. We're going to divide by that big bracket on the left-hand side, 
and we get this. Now we're very close to being done and hopefully you uh, know and you know if you don't know sine theta over cos theta is equal to tan theta. Now we have one equation with a value on the right hand side, a numerical value, and on the left hand side a trig function of theta. So essentially all we need to do now, and, and it's this decimal value, so if you did any rounding earlier on, or not rounding but worked out some of these values and did it uh, not with exact values but numerically you, you should end up with something very close to this, or this hopefully, should be this. Um, we're going to inverse tan now on the original and that will give us theta equals 50 degrees, okay? Now it's, it's a really nice solution given that I've got all of these signs and causes in there. How does it come out so nicely? I'm, you know, I'd have to look into it, or maybe you can look into it it's a little bit more detail. Could you find a neater sign and cause um, value or, or, or uh, combination of signs and causes? Could you make that a little bit neater? Could you combine them in some way? If you could, I'd be very interested to see, because it is quite interesting how this gives you theta equals 50 degrees, but it does. Right, like I say, I hope you enjoyed this video, um, and if you did, drop a like on the video, that really helps me out, and if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I, I upload a new problem each week with me going through the solution, and hopefully you can try it yourself and see if you can do it as well. Okay, have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next week for another video. Till then, bye-bye.